value creation is the engine for exchange. Exchange creates wealth. The more we exchange with one another, the more wealth that's created. And a dollar doesn't end because I spend it. You take that dollar. Then you get to use that dollar again, and then someone else uses the dollar. The more times that exchange is hands, the more what we call in economy, velocity happens. Hard work with the wrong philosophy still equals bankruptcy. The rapaciousness and mercenary nature of Wall Street and the things that they do make them impossible. We offer that expertise that does help level the playing field. At the end of the year, I calculate our average gain and I mean, we just do really well. I don't know that there's anything financially that more people are involved in that they have less knowledge about than plans like the 401k. This is at a time where we have a stock market at all-time highs. Behind the curtain, it's growing at 8%. Yeah. So here's the question, where'd the money go? The middle class are people who may have a little bit of money, but most of the time they end up spending what they have. And the challenge with that is your business will always be a mirror of yourself. I was trying to make businesses make money, but I wasn't myself being cash flow positive. I wasn't reinvesting the money, buying properties, buying assets, making sure they were making money for me. Why would the money come my way? Money's always trying to find the best home. And if I'm not able to appreciate the money, the money won't appreciate. Once you're using blockchain without knowing that you're using blockchain is when, frankly, the opportunity is over. Yeah. So right now, the more complicated it is for people, which is what I tell them, the fact that this is difficult and hard means that there's an opportunity here. For myself as a business owner and using merchant services, and I'm paying three, four percent merchant fees, now I can take payments via crypto for a fraction of a penny. Right. Yeah, you know, I'm in. So it's a huge opportunity. We're still really, really, really early in this. The key in to investing, once you're an adult, or even say over 30 or 40, is the term harvesting. When are you going to harvest your crop? Yeah. So the first thing I look at when I look at investment is what's the likely time horizon for when this investment will return me either current cash flow or residual cash flow or cash flow from growing the business and selling it to someone else. That's going to be the most important criteria, the time return for harvesting and making an investment as you age. I think every single person should be taking 10% of their take-home income mm -hmm. and automatically placing that into some sort of a long-term investment and learning as much about business and advertising as possible. The hack, if you will, to creating income on demand is by having an audience. Even if it's a few hundred people mm -hmm. who actively digest whatever you put into the world, we can turn that into enough money to do damage. Let me just declare my bias right up front. I am a capitalist. I believe in capitalism. I think capitalism is the, collectively the greatest thing the humanity's ever created. It has completely changed the world, and I'm going to prove it to you. Business is this great value creator, and the merchants are the heroes. They're not the bad guys. We can elevate humanity better, faster. I've known hundreds of entrepreneurs, and you know, very few exceptions. They weren't primarily in it for the money. Only 50% of the population is cognitively hardwired to be an entrepreneur. And the other half of us were just not programmed that way. Imagine if you had a ten or $20,000 a month residual coming that just took care of you, earning a small amount off the efforts of many versus 100% of just me. I've been in sales for 
a number of years after the military and then I did a real estate deal and never looked back. I've actually moved into multifamily properties. It's a fantastic game to play if you just get in and learn it and start playing and play it right. You could actually have these things just constantly produce money for you. In the Western world, less than 1% of people retire wealthy at the age of 65. But if we truly want to empower the 99% to invest like the top 1%, we have to literally remove all barriers to entry. You know, a lot of people say to me, well, a dollar, it's not going to change people's lives. And I say, well, I disagree with you. Because if I can change your habits, I can change your financial destiny. beautiful is blockchain that lets us recreate all these institutions of society, both private and government, it can be recreated in blockchain and there's no way they can be captured. For 6,000 years, we've always had a problem if we're strangers and we want to engage in consensual exchange. If we're strangers, we can't trust each other because it's blockchain. It can be made so you can't cheat it. If you think there's value in blockchain, would you invest in it today if you know that in 20 or 30 years it will be worth billions? The simplest application of blockchain is eliminating corruption because you can't play with the records. Right. Once it's written, it's written. It could be a private blockchain, it could be a public pro mm -hmm. blockchain. If it's public, everybody has the information. Mm -hmm. So you can't hide anything. All the inefficiencies fly out the door with blockchain. One of our goals at Medici is to use blockchain to rehumanize commerce. People should be able to have a digital handshake that's like the handshake we had when, you know, we were kids and we'd swap baseball cards and we knew, you know, you hold yours, I'll hold mine, and then we let go and <laughs> there they are. That's what we're doing with blockchain in a digital way. I know that right here, right now, over 50% of every American adult wants to be their own boss, wants to be in control of their own destiny. Look around and they say, I just don't know what I should do. That's the exact situation that I was in when I launched my first business. And the tip I'll share with you, if you're an undecided entrepreneur, is this. Start with a practice business. And then with that, that can transform eventually into that business that is a passion of yours. It was Einstein that said compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Right. It was Rothschilds that said, no, compound interest, tax free. A dollar doubled 20 times is a million dollars if it's tax free. If it's tax as earned in a bank or credit union, in a 25% tax bracket, it's only worth 72,000. Wow. When you could have had a million. Amazon is the virtual pipeline. It is the glue that connects every household in the United States. How much money can we make with this thing? And I'm not looking for home runs, I'm looking for base hits. It's like if I can get this product up and going and it can make eight to 10 sales a day, and I can put $10 in my pocket every time this thing makes a sale, that's $36,000 a year. Put two products in place, it's $72,000 a year. Put three products in place, you're making six figures a year. Here's the interesting thing with trading, is that the difference between creating a consistent income from the markets and that is that over the course of 100 trades, did you make money or not? So if you've got the skill set and the mindset over the course of 100 trades, you know, you're going to have winners and losers, but you're going to generate income from that. So it's those mental skills and having the discipline to stick to the plan. The entrepreneurial spirit is built on this determination that'll go through walls to, to see your vision become a reality. There are things you can do that can change the world. It's just a matter of setting your scope consistent with the resources you have, the network you have, and whatever else to make something about the world better and to have deep, meaningful, connected human relationships that, that bring them joy.
Opportunity is everywhere. We live in a society now, not everyone, but so many people don't want to work for it. So many people want that instant gratification. No one wants to put in the time, the effort, the, the, the grind, the hustle, the extra hours to achieve their goals and be willing to sacrifice. Unfortunately, we live in a country where people don't want to sacrifice.